Welcome to today's Fluid Flow 3 tutorial. Today we will demonstrate Fluid Flow's interface with Excel and show how system design information can be edited within Excel and imported back into Fluid Flow. On screen, we have a simple network whereby we are mixing four alcohol types from four different known pressure sources. At the beginning of our network, we have methanol at 1.7 atmospheres and we are mixing this with ethanol also at 1.7 atmospheres. So if we click on pipe reference minus 3 and view the results, we can see the mass composition of the fluid mixture. As we proceed through the network, we are mixing butanol at 1.6 atmospheres and nonanol at 1.5 atmospheres. So for example, if we click on pipe reference minus 6, we can again see that fluid flow has provided the mass composition of the fluid mixture. If we were to export our network to Excel, we can edit our design information and import these changes back into fluid flow. So in this case, we are going to change the length of pipe minus 1 from 10 meters to 2.2 meters, the length of pipe minus 3 from 6 meters to 4.5 meters, the length of pipe minus 5 from 8 meters to 4.4 meters, and finally the length of pipe minus 6 from 7 meters to 7.8 meters. If we minimize Excel, we can see in our network that the length of pipe minus 1 is 10 meters, minus 3 was 6, minus 5 was 8 meters, and finally minus 6 was 7 meters. If we now import these changes from Excel back into Fluid Flow, we will automatically see these lengths update accordingly. Now we can see, based on the changes made in Excel, the length of each of these pipes has been updated automatically. And that concludes our short tutorial on utilizing Excel.